Hello and welcome to AchieveTutor.com sloping ceiling video. All right, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about how to get a ceiling to slope any old which way you want it to go. So what you want to do first is you just want to draw a standard box. And in this box, if we took our camera and we turned it on the view inside the box, we get a simple box. And what we're going to do is double click in the box and go to the structures tab and remove the ceiling for this room. So it just goes straight up into the sky. Now, there is no roof. I haven't generated a roof on the plan yet. So even though it shows in the diagram there, there won't be a roof. It'll just be a straight blue sky. In fact, I don't even like that blue sky. You know, their default thing, the stack. I don't like it. I don't, just don't like it. Okay, so I'm going to use blue sky, a little bit more dramatic. Okay, there we go. Now, let's talk about sloping the ceiling. We can basically slope it any way, we, which way we want, and you don't necessarily need a roof over the plan to do so. So some of the cool tools in the roofing dialog drop box, or drop down here, is one called the ceiling plane. And basically it works just like the roof plane. So I'm going to zoom in here on my wall. And what I want to do is with my left mouse button on a PC, I think it's the same for the Mac, but they usually have one button. You click to hold down, holding down the drag thing. See, you'll see this little um, diagram, this uh, text line, this dash dotted line here, and a little tick line, they call it, just like the roof. So we're going to drag it along the inside of this wall and let go. And then when we move this way towards the inside of the room, it'll draw the roof plane for us. So I'm going to scroll out a little bit, and I'm going to draw a roof plane about there. And then over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to drag and draw and go like that. And over here, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Drag, let go, draw over here, and click one time. Go back to my full camera view, and why don't we put this on the side of our screen. And so now we've drawn three roof planes, and we can use them just like we can typical roof planes, but these are ceiling planes, sorry, so three ceiling planes we've drawn. So I'm going to select this edge of the ceiling plane. I'm going to hit number two, which is the conjoin button. It's this guy right here. Same thing as the hotkey is number two on the keyboard, and I'm just going to select this edge. And you'll know those two, you'll notice those two just combine just like a roof would. And so let's do that again here. I'm going to click here, hold down number two, or click number two on my keyboard, and then left click here. And then let's drag this guy up to about here. Let's drag him over to there. And then let's drag this guy up to that. And we'll drag this guy up to here. And I'm just trying to make a little path for the roof there. You can clearly see what's going on now. So I have three ceiling planes that are pitching up which way I want. Now, I can change these quite a bit. So this is um, the first one I've selected. I'm going to hold down Shift on my keyboard and select the next one. And holding down Shift still, select the third one. Now I have all three selected. Another way to do that is just to kind of drag your cursor, holding down your left mouse button, drag over the three roof planes and grabbing them. And then I'm going to use the open dialog box. Yours might be at the bottom. I always drag mine to the side. And so in this dialog box, it tells us this is where it starts from at the 95, and it raises up to 145. So I don't really care about that right now. I'm going to just leave all that the same. I'm going to come down here. This tab is called the curve roof. And right now it's saying, well, you got about a 26 degree pitch. So what if we arched it up to about 50 and hit enter? Watch what happens. We get a nice, clean, smooth curve on the roof, which is really kind of neat. And when you color something like that, which would chief in coloring roofs, it basically, once you color one ceiling plane, they all go the same color. And yeah, here I was using one of my own textures, which you can download at chieftutor.com, totally free. Um, and I'm going to grab that bad boy and click OK. And I'm going to left click and spray the inside. So we can kind of see what's going on with the roof. And I'll zoom in here a little bit. and You can see the nice little arch that's happening there. We can also close it up on the top. So let's do that. I'm going to go back to the roof tool. And I'm going to start right at the top line of the top part of the roof. That's this part here. So see how my cursor is kind of clicking to it because my snaps are on. So I'm going to left click one time, drag across the front of it. That'll pick up the height of that roof plane that's right there. Then I'm going to drag this way and go all the way over here and left click one time. And there, it gave me a nice ceiling plane. I'm going to grab this one and move him here and grab this side and move him here. The only problem is this is pitching way up, right? Well, that's okay. So we're going to open it up 
and we're going to lock what is already the height there and we're going to change the pitch to zero and hit enter and see it closes it up kind of nicely so now you got a nice um encapsulated ceiling i guess you'd call it and it's curving right on up now let's see some of the fun things we can do as well i'm going to select the first one hold down shift and select the second and third one just on those angled ones open them up and now i'm going to try a number less than 26 now let's go maybe down to five and we can really see a dramatic swoop as it swoops in as opposed to up so that's a nice little feature. And then again, I can even take this guy and mark him up and say, okay, I'm gonna keep it at zero and 145, but what if I curve this roof up? Like say, I don't know, 30 degrees. And then get a nice little swoop going on. <laughs> so you can create kind of some nice fun angles with Chief Architect. And um, in doing so, um, create you know all kinds of weird shapes and whatnot. So we're going to uncheck that. We're going to go back to zero, which seems kind of good. And let's just show you another couple of options here as well. We can go to the ceiling plane and I can drag on the uh, inner side of this room. And I'm going to go all the way across to here. And thereby it gives me a nice ceiling plane going all the way across. And again, I'm going to double click it and I'm going to change its pitch to zero. So now it's just basically working like a typical ceiling would. And if I get my little controller here, I can kind of zoom in and see. Okay, so it's just a regular old ceiling that it's giving me. And then from there, I could do what I'd like. Again, I can pitch it, do a curved roof, and change it up to, say, maybe 45. And it gives me a nice round curved top. So quite easily using the Chief Ceiling Tools, you can accomplish quite a few different design options and elements. And Chief even has the ability to apply things inside the ceiling. For instance, if I were to go to my lighting tool with Chief Architect, my can light, and I get my can light tool, and let's say I drop one on the top of this arch here. I could drop one in this ceiling. I could drop some even on the angled walls that I've created here. And you'll see it appear, Chief does the best I can to find out where that ceiling plane is, pop it in and shine and use that um, angle. So that's been messing with ceiling planes here at ChiefTutor.com. Thanks so much for watching. And join us as a Prime member and get all these videos totally free. Talk to you later.